with COVID, we're in a situation where everybody's wearing a mask, and that mask then is going to affect how we communicate with each other. So why? Well, when we look at the English language, English language is composed of vowels and consonants. So the vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, along with the consonants, everything else in the alphabet. If we think about how we speak, the vowel, the A, the O, the U, the E, uh, U, uh, travels with a lot of intensity, so people really hear the vowel. But the consonant, the S, the T, the PH, the CH, the T, sort of goes nowhere. So when you're trying to speak to someone and you have a mask on, the problem with having the mask on, the mask then obscures the lips. And most of the consonants are lip sounds. So people, not even thinking about it, are speech reading even when they can't really hear what's being said. So visual input is a great help for an individual to hear what is being, say, in conversation and not just lose individual words. Because oftentimes when you do have some high frequency hearing loss and you really can't see what's happening, that affects your ability to decide, is it a Frank or is it a bank? So, well, sweetheart, I'm gonna to go to the bank. Oh no, I don't want to, I saw Frank yesterday. So there can be misinterpretation of what we say. That can happen even to people who really do not have significant hearing loss. Again, when someone's from another room or behind you, or there's some background sound, again, the vowel comes through, the consonant does not. So when individuals look at hearing, oftentimes it's said that, well, sweetheart, you know, I heard you, but I'm not sure what you said. The reason why that comes across is a, similar to the vowels and consonant issue. The vowels are heard where the consonants are not. So if we again re pull out the mask, in conversation, it's important to let everybody know that there's a big difference between hearing and understanding. So many times when individuals do hear the vowel, they know someone is talking, but they don't really pick up the consonants, so they're not really sure what they said. So hearing for awareness is completely different than hearing for understanding. And that's important to get across, especially in situations where you might be working or with family. Because if you do hear somebody, but you keep going, huh, 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 oftentimes if you have not explained to them that there is a hearing loss present, then they think you're going to have a bad attitude. You're not listening. You don't care for them anymore because you're not following through. It also depends upon the person who is talking. So even in quiet environments, which is the best environment, just the difference between a male voice and a female voice can be markedly different as how one understands. Most of us, when we have hearing loss due to an aging process, we lose the higher frequencies. We lose the ability to hear those consonants. So we have a little booklet that we provide individuals that discusses that. Will you help me hear? This booklet is very helpful and available through the foundation that get, allows people to really understand the difference between hearing for understanding and hearing for awareness. The thing that affects hearing, even in the normal setting without masks, prior to COVID is interference. So as long as, it, if you think about speech, it's really a combination like a TV program. You have a transmission, you have a receiver, and you have the distance from the transmitter to the receiver. So as long as that's clear and crisp, you do fine. So it's similar to, you know, the old radio broadcast with Walter Cronkite. He was the newscaster. He spoke directly to you. There was not a problem. But now, newscasts now, four or five people sitting in a row, they got music blaring, they're talking to each other, they're not talking to you, the individual, so you really can't use visual cues to pick up on what they're saying. There's a whole lot of interference. So that's that interference that affects how we communicate. The louder the interference, the further the distance, changing that communication of that transmission directly to your receiver, that affects how you do. And so sometimes when people even put on hearing aids, they expect the hearing aids to function. They don't realize that it's not just the transmission and not just the receiver, but it's that background that creates the problem with how we do. So for people who do complain about how their hearing aids are functioning in their way to communicate with COVID, that's just another issue where it's not the hearing aid's fault, it's the inability through this crazy mask to communicate clearly with people. And now as we expand and we become more involved with others as COVID hopefully lessens, that'll be even worse. So wearing a mask markedly affects one's ability to sort of hear and, in essence, understand what's being said.
Hi, I'm Erin, Associate Director of Education and Global Hearing Health here at the House Institute Foundation. Thank you for watching our video. If you would like to support research, education, or global humanitarian efforts, please consider donating by clicking the link in the description box below. Be sure to check out our other videos, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified anytime we post. Thanks!